Hey everybody, this is Jana from Paranormal Researchers of Saginaw. Sorry it's been so long since we've done the vlogs and put up our investigations and even the radio show, Sirens of the Paranormal, which you can check out on blogtalkradio.com. Um, but as you can see, I'm by myself in this vlog and normally Amanda's with me. Amanda has taken a job in Texas and I wish her the best of luck. I miss her already. Um, and this vlog though, I'm going to be talking about the K2 meter and the laser grade pen. So here we go. So the first thing we're going to talk about is this, the K2 meter, which I got from K2EMFmeter.com in St. Augustine, Florida, so U.S. Alright, so your first piece of equipment here, the K2 meter, measures in hertz, up to 20,000 hertz, which means cycles per second. What it's measuring is EMF, or the electromagnetic um, frequencies that are given off by digital and electronic appliances. Now when you turn it on, you just want to push the button and it will pulse a couple of times. And generally when you get a paranormal response, you'll get up to about the third light. Um, depending on how much energy that entity has, you can go all the way into the red. Now to turn it off, you simply push the button again and it goes right off. Now if that first light that was on happens to go dim, that means you want to change your 9 volt battery. Easy. Take a Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew both of the screws, replace it, and that's that for the K2. Simple to use, and I know a lot of people are using the Melmeter now, but um, as a inexpensive piece of equipment, this will get you some responses. So now, on to the green laser. So our next piece of equipment is the laser grid pen. This one happens to be in purple, but they also have green. So what you do is you unscrew the middle, just like this, all the way, and two AAA batteries, that's all you're going to need. Now the head of this is adjustable, you just turn it, and what that's going to do is change the size and the shape of your grid. For example, and it's as simple as that. The only thing you're going to need is a tripod and the special holder for the laser light. Uh, it wraps around so that it doesn't mess up the button, but it does hold it down for you because you do have to hold the button down. Um, there's also one that I've seen that's like almost like a plastic ring that slides over it as opposed to one that sticks on the tripod. Either way, it's as simple as that. And you can find them on eBay, Amazon, you can go to different ghost hunting stores and um, check those out there. But until then, that's the end of the vlog, and I thank you for watching. Have a great week.